Hey everybody, Chad Nobody Else's Auto. We are at one of my favorite places on earth, the Auburn Court Duesenberg Company. I love coming down here. Doug's become a great friend. Doug has taught me a ton of stuff about Auburns and Cords. He's taught all of you a lot of cool stuff. And there's always cool stuff here and I still haven't even processed this one. Doug called me, told me about this car, invited me down to do some video and share it with you. And it is one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. This is a seven figure barn, garage, find, whatever you, I guess technically you found it in a garage, but right. it has not been seen in public since 61. Since 1961. Mm -hmm. It was put in this garage in 1967. 1967. Mm -hmm. And they shoved it in there and locked the door. Locked the door. That's it, until we unveiled it. Until you, it until you just pulled it out of the garage just very, very recently right. here. Absolutely. So we've got a few clips we're going to show you of uh, of that process. Where you actually in the garage where you found it, and uh, and getting it here to the Auburn Ford Duesenberg Company, and then we're going to take a look at the car. So check this out. Yes, things happen for a reason. Um, I can probably. I may have to go through the car. <laughs> you can take your yeah, it's, I don't know if you'll be able to get around that. Probably can't, probably can't. I'll look, let me look and see. It's a big car. Yeah. In a little garage. It, it just take, fits. Take, take pictures of the mm -hmm. headlights and the seats. Well, we've and... got parts on the table here. right here if you need them so we're all whatever you need I'm sure I got it.
guess we're gonna find out really quick. I've had I've had that happen. Okay, I'm gonna close that rumble seat. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, do you want us to take the seats off of here too? Do you want a little more room to see a little bit better? Gives you a better look at the car too. Then do what you start. Watch your head, Raymond.
here. Doug, tell us a little bit about this thing. Okay, Duesenberg. I mean, that is the top of the line. Everybody knows a Duesenberg. The phrase, it's a real doozy, if you didn't know where it came from, it's a real Duesenberg. So if something's a real doozy, it's because of these cars. They built Duesenbergs in 1929 to, I think they even built some in 19, period of 36. Um, there was 485, 481 Duesenberg Model J's built. And this hood ornament kind of tells you it's a Model J. They were uh, an eight cylinder dual overhead cam engine and the car weighs 5,600 pounds or so. So almost three tons. Um, they were built by E.L. Cord and 
Fred Duesenberg was his chief engineer, and he told Fred Duesenberg, I want you to build the finest, fastest automobile in the world, and that was in 1929. This is a 1931 version of that. Uh, Duesenberg were all delivered to what's called coach builders, it's just chassis, and then a custom coach builder would put the type of body on the car that uh, the owner would want, whether it's a two-seater, whether it's a roadster, whether it's a dual cow Phaeton, whether it's a speedster, so all kinds of custom bodies. But Murphy built 50 different bodies, of which 25 of them were what is called a disappearing top convertible coupe. And that, this is one of those 25. This is one of the most desirable Duesenbergs out there. It's got every bell and whistle that Duesenberg had at the time. It was guaranteed to do 88 miles an hour in second gear, back when the national speed limit was 35 miles per hour. So <laughs> Just this, in case you needed to. <laughs> yeah, this is the cars of movie stars, Cary Grant, Gary Cooper. Uh, the, the big stars drove these, because that's, that's who could afford them, because this was in the heart of the Depression. Oh, absolutely, yeah. yeah. You could buy a new, new Ford for $450, and one of these new, including body and everything, is gonna be closer to $10,000, $12,000. So in today's dollar, probably this hundreds is, of thousands. Yeah, hundreds of thousands. Probably half a million dollar car new. Uh, and now all these years later, the value has just skyrocketed because it's a real doozy. It, it's what everybody wants. And to be able to find one that's been hidden away for this many years and to be a convertible coupe disappearing top Murphy body is just unheard of. If I've always dreamed of finding a Duesenberg in a barn, and we found lots of nice Auburns and Cords over the years, but when I get to call them, they never said, I've got a doozy in the uh, garage. And this time I did. So we, we brought it out of uh, hiding after all these years, uh, brought it here to, uh, we're gonna get it running, and we'll keep it a survivor car for a while, probably show it as is, and then at some point it will go into a full-blown Concours restoration. This is one heck of a piece of history out of um, the um, 481 built, 378 of them are, are known to exist. So, so, so there's still 100, roughly 100 Model J's unaccounted for. Well, yeah, and maybe some of those have been accounted for and destroyed, but a lot of these went to Europe I see. and right in the heart of World War II. Right. So who knows? You know, yeah. Who knows? Uh, but to find one, in the States that's just been sitting there this many years. The gentleman had owned it since uh, since the 50s and he had given it to his daughter and, uh, and she was ready to do something with it. And so we were we were the lucky ones to get to, to be able to deal on it. And uh, here it is, a Duesenberg, uh, unrestored sitting here in our factory is just, uh, yeah, pretty exciting. And, and just to kind of put this in perspective, this is a 1931 it weighs almost 6,000 pounds. It's dual overhead cam. Mm -hmm. They would run 88 miles an hour in second gear. Yeah. And this is in the depression where a lot of people, you know, were still driving, still a lot of Model T type stuff yeah. on the road. I 420 think. cubic inches. 420 cubic inches. 265 horsepower. So yeah. These are a lot of cars. We're going to take a quick look at it right now, but stay tuned. We're going to get you some more in-depth videos after this. So you don't want to miss those as well. But let's give them a quick look at this thing real quick, Doug. Obviously, I mean, original wire wheels. Yeah, and then this 19 inch is the ones that everybody wants. This is the 19 inch wheels. Uh, just kind of everything about this car, the disappearing top is uh, incredible. Of course, that's a 1950s interior somebody put in it to uh, that era, so the interior will, of course, have to go back to original. Um, now, with the disappearing top, some of these other ones, we looked at pictures, when the top folds down, you can actually see it stacked up. That's right. This one di completely disappears, completely so it's completely smooth back here. And both cars are extremely sought after, but this is the most sought after. And there were 25 of these built. 25 of these, yep. Yep, this is uh, one one rare car in really good condition. The bodies are all aluminum, and the fenders and running boards are steel. So when the customer would have ordered the car, he probably would have got the fenders on it, the running boards on it, the grill on it. And then Murphy in LA, from what I understand, uh, these were built, I think, in Connorsville, Indiana. Auburn, Indiana was where the factory headquarters was. Auburn owned a Duesenberg. And uh, when EL Court said, build this car, then the chassis were sent off, 
this car went to LA, Murphy designed the body and built 50 of them and only 25 like this. Yeah. Pretty amazing. Absolutely. This is, I mean, I'm, I'm still kind of geeked out about it. I know you've seen a lot of cars in your day. I haven't been around near as long as you have, but I've seen a ton of different cars in my day. And this thing still blows me away. I've, I've been around it for a few hours now, looking at it, studying it, and to just almost, it's got a, it almost has its own presence. Yeah. Well, when you see them restores, they just, I mean, it's fantastic like this, but the restored one, it's a work of art. Every nut, bolt, and screw is documented and is restored like a piece of jewelry. So when this car is done, it'll be a concourse winner and just super, super detailed the way the car was originally. Some of the instruments are missing. We've got a couple of them in there that were in the box, but I thought it was always interesting about a Duesenberg. One of the instruments is an altimeter, and I can't figure out why they had <laughs> altimeters. You know, how high are they gonna fly? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, beautiful engine turn dash, altimeter, great set of instruments. Side mounts, rumble seat, disappearing top. This one even has the downdraft carburetor, which is what everybody wants. They did them with an updraft and a downdraft. This happens to have the downdraft on it. They did them with one windshield wiper. This one has two, which that's what everybody wants. So it's kind of like everything that you would desire in a Duesenberg is right, right here. Right here. Untouched, unseen in over 60 years, right. pushed in a building, clasped put on the door and locked in 1967. Right. Yeah. Until just a couple weeks ago. That's right. Yeah. We got her out, brought her home, and uh, then we'll, do, we'll go from there. But like the next thing we're gonna do is uh, look at the engine, see if we can get it running, do all the little Duesenberg tricks to uh, make sure it's perfect before we drive it. And uh, we'll get out and drive it, in fact, we promised the lady that we got it from that uh, she could come down here and ride it. And see, the last time she rode it, she was 12 years old, <laughs> and so she wants to she wants to go for a ride in it. So can't blame her. We'll, we'll we'll try to make that happen for her here sooner than later. So well, there it is, everybody. Uh, absolutely amazing. I'm still trying to take it all in because it's that amazing of a car. And like I said, I've I've been around cars all my life. I know you've seen a lot of stuff in your day. You've been in the business your whole life. And this car is, is just, it's that special of a car. It is that special. It, it's literally take, it's kind of taking some time to soak in. I, and, and Doug, I can't imagine. I know how I felt when I saw the car today. I can't imagine how you felt when you walked into that garage. And, yeah. and there it was. Yeah, no, in the garage, if the car was so big, they had to take the bumpers off to get it in. And they're, they're so the rear bumpers the, off right now. The front bumper touched the wall. I mean, the, the front end touched the wall. The back of the frame touched the door, shoved it up to one side of the garage, and then the other side had 10 inches. So we only had 10 inches to get around <laughs> to even look at it. So I couldn't even get to the other side to open the hood. But, uh, but I knew exactly what it was when I saw it. It was like, okay, this is it. And so we're, we're excited. We're excited. Well, there it is. There's the reveal. Um, one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. Obviously, one of the most amazing things you've ever found. Um, stay tuned. Doug and I are going to spend a little more time with you on this car on a couple of more videos. I think we'll give them a detailed walk around with some of these special features. And then uh, we're going to open the hood. We're going to show you that 420 cubic inch. Yeah, 420 cubic inches. Dual overhead cam in 1931. Right. right. So. Yeah. When they designed it in 29. So. Designed so. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, way ahead of its time. Way and ahead of its time. The most beautiful engine that has ever been created yet. Now this is an unrestored one, but um, invite your your people to look up a Duesenberg J engine. Oh yeah. In the, the Duesenberg green and the polished aluminum, they're absolutely outstanding. Yeah, we were looking at those pictures earlier, yeah. and, they're, and they're this just car amazing. will become that eventually, but it's still pretty cool in its original condition. So. You won't want to miss those videos. Those are coming up. Thanks for watching, everybody. We hope you enjoyed the seven-figure garage find that, that Doug just managed to rescue and has an amazing future. Yeah. So, Doug, thanks for sharing with us. Stay tuned. You won't want to miss those other videos because this thing is that amazing. Thanks for watching, everybody.